What's up, architects? Hope you're doing well on, this is day five. Hope you're doing well on where, wherever you are in the world and whatever part of the jump that you're on, or if you haven't jumped in the jump, maybe you will. Want to quick jump on here, uh, just a couple of quick reminders. This one will be pretty short. Uh, a lot of things need to get done, as I'm sure all of you do as well. But a couple of things. One, the CRM is online, which means when you register for the free jump, you're automatically now going to be popped into our customer relations management software. You can get a text and or email or both welcoming you to the jump. It's also a place you're going to be able to ask any questions or get support from myself or any of the architects in there and our customer service reps that are in the background. It's automated. You'll get it. You'll see a welcome message. We do not solicit. We don't sell your information to anybody. So just know that you're getting that that is inside our ecosystem and that's designed for us to keep in touch with you as fast as we possibly can to answer your questions as you continue moving down the architectural journey starting with the jump the uh, architecting vinyasa is in there uh, you'll get uh, four different versions from Connie and Rob. Also, too, uh, Danny Malin is going to be coming on, and uh, Justin and Shonda have started with their architecting, which is therapeutic art, which is a really fascinating program that'll be coming in as well. So these are all programs you're going to start to experience in the back end on top of your jump training. Also, want to welcome uh, one of our newest AITs. Uh, uh, Tara, who came in today, uh, many architects are coming in. Now, I want to be really clear about the uh, AITs. A lot of people have been asking um, what happens when. So our goal this year was we were only going to allow 1,000 AITs, or architects in training, uh, into the system. If you get that, if you get that now, you get the AITs, which is 14 weeks, and the first four modules of your architect graduate uh, experience. Also, too, you get the full jump. And you get all the audios, all the yoga, all the architecting, all the tiers and tattoos. Everything is unlimited use for that. But once we reach 1,000 AITs, I'm turning it off for the year. That's correct. It is not a sales pitch. It's not a, gee, but wait, there's more. It's not, um, you know, if you call now, you get two for the price of one. It's designed that way so that out of the AITs, that's what we'll be able to focus on those who go to architecting mastery. Again, mastery is uh, by election and process, both by us as the architects community and you, the architect in training, to go through and become a brand builder or become a full architect yourself and teacher and teaching that, inviting that system to other people. So uh, as we reach that number, which there's still time, so I don't want me to freak out or anything like that. There's still time. But as we reach that number or get close to that number later this year, I will be turning that off because a lot of people have been asking me privately, what happens if? Can I come in later? And so that brought me to some of the thought processes, which I'm going to dive into today. But also, too, uh, heads up, uh, again, tomorrow, we're going to be doing uh, the uh, Carona Fest, uh, which is hosted by a bunch of great other teachers. It's been going on all week. I was invited uh, last week to speak. Um, this, again, is a non-paid event. It's a free world event. I'll be speaking tomorrow uh, on riches versus wealth and the definition of what that means uh, in not just you know in your own personal journey, but also what it means in architect community so you can understand what we talk about a little bit deeper uh, on that level on riches versus wealth. That'll be free. It's at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It'll be right here, uh, simulcast on Facebook. You can watch it. It costs you nothing but an hour of your time. And okay, that's, that's your choice if you want to watch it or you can catch the replay. And again, we want to thank uh, everybody over at uh, Carona Fest uh, to put that together because it takes a lot of effort to put all the, the teachers, the guides, the yogis, uh, the trainers, um, everything together. They did a really, really great job. And so we're grateful for that. So that's tomorrow at 12 p.m. PST. Also, two coming on Friday, this Friday, the long awaited follow up to the movie The Secret will be releasing, which is Beyond the Secret, The Awakening, uh, which I have the great honor to be a part of that and also one of the co producers, along with Don and Melinda Boyer, who uh, invited me to be a part of that film a while back. That will be releasing Friday. What a perfect time that is. Everybody gets to watch it because we're all at home. I'll be popping the link right in here. You can download it right at your home. It's only $9.97, and you can watch the film uh, and enjoy it. All the, uh, not all, most of the original cast members from The Secret we got back together, plus a bunch of other new uh, thought leaders. And we're actually going to take you down the road from Law of Attraction being this I think it and it shows up thing. Because we all agree that's not really how it works, and you learn that deeper in the jump. But you're going to learn this on the, from the film perspective as well, as well and really enjoy it. That will come out Friday. You'll see the link right here. We'll be posting it everywhere. You can pop the link and then immediately download the film and watch it and enjoy with you and your family. So those are things that are coming up. I want to give you those quick announcements as we could. And let's go back to something that came up from prior. People were uh, emailing me and saying, hey, you know, 
Hey, Trab, you know, uh, you know, I'm not sure about the economy. I don't know what to do. I'm not sure this is the right time or whatnot. Okay, those are all things that you learn in the jump called guardians. Those are excuses that we make up up here because the truth is there is no such thing as the right time, right? The right time. So for those of you who are parents, myself included, generally there is no such thing as the right time to become a parent. And even when you think it's the right time, you get thrown into the deep end of the pool because being a parent is a lot different than what you think it is versus what it really is. So there isn't a real right time, which started to me bring into some funny concepts of how we really hypnotize ourselves into believing our own BS. Here's a great one. So if you recall when the, the pandemic was first released, the big mad rush was to go get toilet paper. I haven't really figured that one out quite yet myself, but something occurred to me. I'm like, you know, there's other options, but here's the really cool part. We're so worried about our, our, our backside not being full of shit, but we'll let our head carry stuff from shit from 20, 30 years ago, and that's okay. So let me get this straight. We're willing to spend our money on a piece of paper to make sure our asshole's clean, but our head's still carrying about a bunch of shit from back when we were in high school or our previous you know, experience, life, relationship, whatever, and that's okay but we won't spend our money. We won't invest in ourselves. We won't invest on clearing this thing up so that we can truly listen to our, our heart and what we really want to do and a step-by-step system, a step -by -step system to do that. But we got to make sure we got enough toilet paper. That one's a little odd to me, but I got started thinking about that and went, well, wait a minute. We're so desperately concerned about clearing that out, but we're not concerned about clearing this out. So maybe, maybe the real issue is, Maybe we should be more like assholes. We should clean ourselves out on both ends, right? Because this one can do a heck of a lot more damage, right, over time than making sure your bowel movements are regular. Because again, you don't need toilet paper. You can always hop in the shower. It's called a bidet, right? The French have been doing it for a long time. Jump in there. There's a bunch of different ways. Garden hose, right? Sprinkler system. There's all kinds of ways. Make sure that your backside's clean. But how many ways do you know to clear this thing up? And so I started thinking about that. And I just kind of was, you know, mumbling to myself and went, well, that's really interesting. And that, my friends, is in part and parcel what a guardian is about, where our priority structures are so misaligned with what our heart is really telling us that is important and what we really want to do that we'll move to things that aren't as important and will justify our time, will justify our money, will justify the reasoning as opposed to taking care of ourselves. So here's a really interesting question. Well, when this world when this world returns back to whatever normal is after whenever this ends, you know, I've everything from two weeks to three months that I've heard information in between. And I don't know what the answer is on that one family, so I couldn't tell you. But when everything returns to normal, the question is, are you going to return to normal? Are you going to be doing the same things you were doing when you walked into this time and sequence? Because it wasn't the right time for any of us to have this all happen, and yet here it is. So that makes it the right time. So what are you waiting for? Are you going to invest in yourself? And I saw, and again, this isn't from a sales perspective. This isn't actually, I'm actually fascinately curious because again, we are so concerned. And I'm not saying everybody on this call is in that space, but I'm using this as a, as a grand dose metaphor. We're so concerned about making sure, <coughs> excuse me, making sure that um, our backsides are clean, but we never really pay attention to this yet. This is the puppy that's running the whole show, at least at the top level. We think it is, but at more, we know at the definite bottom level, the subconscious, it's truly running the show. But we don't clean that out. We don't clean our garden out. We don't weed it. We don't tend to it. We just kind of hope things will come along and our ship one day will come in and everything will be all right. How's that worked out for you so far? If you're like most and you're willing to be honest with yourself, which sometimes is difficult, I get it because we are also full of shit. And if you've ever seen one of my live workshops or ever seen me speak live, it's one of the opening lines that I come out with and I'll do it right here for you so you know that it's true when you see it either online or in an event and I'll probably do it tomorrow. I was like, hi, my name is Travis Fox and I'm full of shit. Everything you're about to hear, you already know somewhere down here. But my job is to help you wake yourself up from the self-hypnosis that you've placed yourself in, the excuses you allow yourself to perpetuate, the what-ifs, coulda, shoulda, wouldas that you allow yourself to keep putting on yourself to keep you, from, you keep you from living who you really are and remembering the answers that you already know when you put yourself to sleep long ago when they told you to listen to this puppy up here. Yet this puppy up here, commonly called the mind brain, is going to die with the suit commonly called your body when life ends, which means there must be something bigger going on. And we call that the architect or your heart.
the architect within and great architect who's running the whole show. You can call great architect whatever you want. I'm not smart enough to tell you what to call it. It has many names. But wouldn't it be interesting if we finally realized how full of shit we really are? And I do this in a jestful kind of way, but also stop and think about it for a moment. We're so concerned about wiping out uh, supermarkets and Costco and Walmart and, and Target and everybody else on toilet paper because our, our asshole might smell. Well, this thing smells. As the great words of Zig Ziglar used to say, you got a, you got a case of stinking thinking. Isn't it time we clean that up? What have you got to lose by actually diving in for a minute? It's free. And I'm not doing it as a sales pitch. It's not an upsell. It doesn't give you one little step. It gives you the whole damn enchilada in those first three days of the jump. And then on top of that, you get all of these other programs that are there to help you. And the question becomes, where are you resisting you? Where are you keeping your shit and keeping yourself full of it? That's the first question that the jump will help you answer. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of in a adjustable way, really look at that. Because the fact is, it's happening. It's kind of funny. And when you really step back and think about it, it's humorous. We crack ourselves up. You know, our backside's more important than our head. Hmm. That's fascinating. So where else are we full of it? Well, we're full of it when we're not willing to, when we're saying, hey, by the way, you know, uh, it's a time or money thing. Well, okay, okay, you just saw $2 trillion go whizzing through the freaking house and Senate in the United States. Okay, so money clearly isn't the issue. We've, we've made sure it's absolutely impossible for you not to get in. The only way you don't get in is because of choice. But these value sequences that we're doing right now are a precursor or a foreshadow or a preview of what you're going to experience. And I find that the number one thing that keeps us full of shit isn't because it's money or isn't because you don't have time because you watch Netflix and Amazon and whatever the hell you're watching two or three hours a day, right? It's because we're going to have to face that part of ourselves that scares the crap out of ourselves and we've done such a good job of keeping ourselves full of shit, right? So for example, hoping everything goes back to normal. Yet when it was normal, you didn't like it because you didn't want to go to work and you get the things blah, 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 right? So now the things you didn't like are the things that you want to go back to. How's that work? <laughs> that doesn't make sense, right? We start to really begin how maddening, uh, how, how much of a madness we really have going on up here. And I don't mean mad as insanity. I mean, as a, we've just been erotic, right? We're all a little nuts, goofy. Example, for those who've been through the first day of the jump, you know, one of the, the, the exercises of that day is just to be able to sit still for 10 minutes. Do nothing. You can think as much as you want. I don't care. The objective is to understand that in sitting still, how quickly this puppy up here, this quickly, Rick, this quickly, uh, this puppy up here quickly seeks to distract you. All of a sudden, you mysteriously, you have all these itches all over your body that you didn't have 10 seconds ago. All of a sudden, mysteriously, you got twitches and these, you move like you got Tourette's. But 10 minutes prior to when you at, said, I'm going to move into the space where I'm going to make my mind work for me, as opposed to against me, your mind was in cooperation, quote unquote. But the moment you decided to take control of it, it rebels. Right. And if you look at that rebellion point, that's a great place to start going, well, gee, I wonder if I can't even stop arguing with myself about just sitting still for 10 minutes, getting these two things to talk to each other, I mean, mind and body. Where or where am I full of shit in the rest of my life with my relationships, with my job, what I really want to do? What's the passion of my heart? What the heck am I waiting for? And then something like this happens and our number one concern is toilet paper. Again, I'm not laughing at anybody for their choices. I just find it kind of fascinating that we were willing to let ourselves make sure that our backsides are clean, but this one can stay full. You know that old saying that says, um, no one can, you really can't learn and you can't put anything in a cup that's already full? And isn't that really what we're experiencing now? We are on overwhelm. There's so much information from government coming from every different place possible. What's credible? What's not? What countries you know, being locked down? Countries being locked down all over. India just went locked down. There's a bunch of countries, uh, countries in Africa. New Zealand's going locked down. So it's still happening. And yet we get, the, we get all this kind of different rhetoric that, okay, now we're going to open it up in two weeks, get the economy going. Well, how the hell do you get the economy going if you can't go out and you have social distancing? So you start to ask these questions and this thing gets overwhelmed. And then on top of it, it's number one concern is, well, I just want to make sure that my ass is clean. <laughs> well, I guess that's a priority. How about we get this thing clean? So when we come through this and during this process right now, 
investing in, in watching TV or Netflix or whatnot has its value and I get it. It's entertainment, it's distraction, it can take you on a different story metaphorically, it keeps the mind activated, I get all that, that's fair. But to simply tell me that you, you don't choose to invest in yourself when you are the single longest relationship you'll ever have, that to me is where we're full of shit. Especially when people like myself and other great you know, uh, uh, teachers and systems out there are all offering you different kind of variations. Wouldn't it be the time to invest right now? What could be more perfect of a right time and stop being full of crap than to do it now? And on top of that, what's more important? Isn't this a great time to show? And something I was talking to, I had a reflection call today uh, with someone uh, who was coming through, the, coming through the architect system. And I said, you know, what's really interesting, what I think is the right time about this and so important is because kids and our children learn not from what we say to them, but from how we are. So if we're not willing to invest in ourselves and we're not willing to expand ourselves, we're not willing to learn these skills and more importantly, do them as a family. Right? There's several architects who have grads so their families have gone through as families. Right, I see Connie's on here. Connie and, and uh, uh, Barry are both architect graduates. Connie is a council member. Uh, and she sits at the highest level you can be in the, in the architect community um, and helping what we do along with other council members. But her daughter, Trinity, who is 15, is also a jumper and is helping other teens now jump. So isn't it really cool? And this is what I find fascinating is because wouldn't it be now or wouldn't it isn't it the time now to teach our families by being, go through it together. I mean, think about this. If you could teach your child to be able to know what they truly want in the passion of their heart and not to follow their head, not to be a social conformist, not to just follow the lead, not to be a rebel to be a rebel, but to truly follow the passion of the heart. Isn't that what every parent wants? I know that's what I wanted for my kids, still do, and want for my grandchild, right? Follow your heart, follow your journey, because family, Let's own this, no matter what, whether it's COVID-19, whether it's SARS, whether it's HIV, whether it's cancer, whatever the heck it is on the next thing, you're not getting out of this life alive anyways. So live your ass off. Now, I'm not talking about reckless abandonment. I'm not talking about violating the law or the things that may put you at risk. I'm talking about when things are in the space, can't you live in a more authentic space? And I mean more authentic, not as that we are not living authentic, but authentic as we could let ourselves live when we get ourselves out of our shit, get ourselves out of our past, get ourselves out of who we thought we were supposed to be and own this and want a more perfect time because you can't leave because we're all under social distancing. We're all under de facto house, to re house arrest. And this is a perfect time to do it. And yet I found it interesting when I was going through the reflection that, you know, what some of the priorities were and the priorities were, you know, I got to make sure I have enough money to get toilet paper. What? what, what? Excuse me? So let me get this straight. You're willing to spend your money on something you know is literally you're flushing down the toilet, puns intended and literal, but you're not willing to invest less money into hours of training, hours of experience that's replicated itself thousands and thousands and thousands of times and still doing it to this day and invest in yourself and clear out the shit that really matters in here and get down to the deepest, most intense part of you and let that become your driving force going forward as the normal and you create the change in your life versus change happening to you and you become reactive, which is what we've been doing mostly heretofore. We react to our environment as opposed to creating our environment. And it's a completely different experience. Now, most of us, myself included, when I started my journey 30 years ago, still do it to this day. By the way, I'm not perfect. I tried to walk on water this morning and I sank right to the fucking bottom. Okay, but I believe it's possible. That I do believe. Before I leave this planet, I will figure it out. I don't know how to do it yet, but I'm working on it. All right. In the meantime, I'm working on all these things in the back end. So our interactive system teaches you interactively. The AITs teach interactively now. So you get multiple choice and it tracks your data and you get your certificate of completion and you get your worksheets and you get all this and you can see you're interactively learning. And here's the best part. When you join the AIT family, you can actually affiliate and invite more people in. You can literally earn what you learn and you could pay for the entire thing while helping the world truly become a better place because we all wake up and we're no longer full of shit. That is the passion of an architect. If that doesn't fit you, cool. Thank you for listening. I really appreciate it. If it does fit you, what are you waiting for? Jump. The first three days cost you nothing. All of the audios in there are unlimited use. You can listen to them as much as you want. There is no 
by the way, we're going to turn it off after all this goes away. You can listen to much you want. I don't care. It's a gift. It's designed to find the thousand AITs we're looking for. Well, it's less than a thousand now, but that was the number. The thousand AITs that we're looking for this year. That's it. That's all I'm looking for. Now, mind you, there's 7.3 billion people on the planet. Now, some 40%, if my numbers are correct, is now in house arrest in some form or another, when including the 1.2 billion, that's with a B, billion in India that just got locked down today. The whole country, boom, done. 1.2 billion. You got most, you got 80 some million Americans. I'm sure most of Canada is as well. Europe, Spain, UK, Ireland, all of them are going through New Zealand, Australia. Everybody's starting to lock down. So the world as we knew it before, even though it looks the same externally, you know, we look outside, we see the roads, we see cars, we see houses, we see you know the same things, is functionally and fundamentally going to be altered and already is going forward, which means we need to create how we want that life to go forward or we will be subject to reaction again because we're still being led by the same thing that's full of shit. But you'll have good, clean buttholes and that's an important thing. <laughs> <laughs> gotta laugh a little bit. We gotta have a little bit of levity here, fam. <laughs> okay. Hey, Mark, how are you, buddy? I'm speaking of UK, Mark Pooler right over there from the UK. Fantastic podcast. I had the opportunity to be on his podcast a couple weeks ago. Uh, fantastic gentleman. Thanks for joining us, by the way, buddy. So anyway, I just wanted to share these things with you. So the CRM is online. It'll automatically respond to you. It is us, by the way. It's not solicitory. It's just letting you know that we're there. You can, you can access that CRM 24 hours a day. Um, and we'll respond by either SMS or email. You can also move into the new platform. It's, it's interactive in the training center and you get all the yoga and uh, the art and the audio programs, the hypnotherapy programs for you, for your family, your kid. You get the first three days of jump there. It's all there and you get your report card. Yes, it's gamified. So I actually can see in the back end as well as the entire tech team, how well you're doing. I can see data that you're actually learning in real time. It's not just watch a video and hope I got it. And then, of course, on Friday, um, the film's going to come out. We'll be popping the link out right here. You can watch the film Beyond the Secret, The Awakening. Uh, I, obviously, I hope you all enjoy it. I believe that you really will. You get a lot out of it. It's very, very well done. Everyone in the cast did a great job, and everyone reached deep in the box to pull out their best to give as much as they could in the just shy of 90 minutes that that film runs. And then, of course, tomorrow, I'll be doing the, uh, the Carona Fest. <laughs> uh, for free right here simulcast on this page it'll be at 12 p.m pacific standard time make sure if you want to join in it'll be an hour long on riches versus wealth and that one's structured and you'll get an idea of how that actually works but anyway i just want to reach out to you do that uh, make sure you jump into the, the the jump and share it with everybody again it's free that's our uh, architect's response to help everybody get into this space and let's really help uh, this working out. Susan, if you're having any issues with the login, all you have to do is email us. We'll make that solve that for you because the, there are two systems. We're moving everybody from the old LMS, which is the learning management system, over to our new interactive platform. So sometimes they don't like to speak to each other. And guess what? Everybody in the mother's on the freaking internet right now. So things get a little bit weird. So just email us, Susan. We'll make sure you get taken care of. Susan Ord, right there, one of the AITs getting ready to graduate as well. Thanks for jumping on there. Tanya Nickel, there's another uh, architect graduate and council member, by the way, and is her husband, by the way. Uh, Scott Nickel, both of them went through a couple of years back. Both are excellent teachers, and several well, of their students are graduating now. So again, the architect community, we're a very tight community. We all work together. There is no such thing as the us and them. There is not, we're the cool kids, and you're not. That's just a bunch of bullshit, because guess what? We're all pink on the inside, and we all know the noble truth. You're not getting off this planet alive, and life without fully living is the ultimate undoable regret. We have the opportunity right now to do things differently and stop being full of shit, even though your backsides are going to be pretty clean. Let's get this one cleaned up, and let's get really crystal clear to make this thing the tool that will help you shift your belief structures, shift your thoughts to what you want to create for yourself for going forward. Because life as we know it from here forward is, ever going, is forever going to change, right? It will be at least, in my, in my personal opinion, I have no... Uh, and I, other you know, expert knowledge of this from my own, just, uh, uh, own architect, my own heart telling me it's going to be at least a year before anything remotely close gets back to quote and quote normal. Okay. So just think that going through that process and let's ask a really, really nasty question. And I want to leave you with this and I want you to sit with it. And then I want you to ask yourself, are you willing to let yourself keep doing the same things over and over and over again, expecting that different result as we all know is the proverbial definition of madness. So if you only had 30 days left to live, would you be doing anything you're doing right now? And if any part of your answer is no, then it's time to jump. Time to jump into your life, time to jump into your heart, time to jump into this thing and clean that puppy out and get going 
this day. Because guess what? We all know we're not getting off the planet alive, but life without living is the ultimate undoable regret. I want you guys to jump. We're looking for the thousand AITs. If you're not that, not it, that's great. If it doesn't resonate with you, thank you for stopping by. Journey well, stay healthy and stay safe. If you feel that, that heartbeat going right now and you feel your rib cage about ready to explode, you feel the little flutters in your heart and your gut, that's called a heart ping. That's an invitation from your architect to say, hey, wake up, let's do something different. Let's jump this direction. Again, our uh, invitation is experience it. Don't just try it, experience it. You get three full hours of doing this. Now, I charge a lot of money to work with me privately, less so as of late, obviously, but I always do because I want my architects to be able to teach because teaching is teaching is their passion as well. And I'm working on sending the message out, which is more where my passion lies now. But think about it, you get three hours of you and I working together. What's that worth? Well, on my side, it costs you nothing, but your time and your choice to not be full of shit. Talk to you soon. Architect out. I'll see you tomorrow, 12 p.m. Pacific Center time on the Corona Care Fest coming up. And then, of course, Friday, the film release. I'll put the link up for you all right here to join the jump for free. And I'll see you on the inside of the architect community. Architect out. Bye-bye.